First off, I want to thank the uh, brave men and women who work behind the wall. I want to thank them on a national level because their job goes on How recognized. How do they try to turn a guard? Well, President, uh, correction officer, sorry, I apologize, uh, but correction officer. Uh... How you guys doing today? It's Anthony Ganji, host of Tear Talk. Guys, I want to discuss retaliation. What do I mean by retaliation? I watched a great video about an officer who got mad at an inmate and decided to put bleach in their food. It happened in Florida. Video was great, hit on some good points. And I felt the need to also compliment that video. That's how important that is. And right now, believe it or not, guys, I'm constructing a PowerPoint on inmate manipulation. And parts of that is discussed, believe it or not. Because inmates can affect us in negative ways. And we have to be aware of ourselves. So we come back from our sponsor. I want to discuss retaliation and just to kind of think of the bigger picture, which makes our job hard. Hi right, guys, if you haven't, the show Tear Talks to you, you brave men and women that work in correction, so please subscribe, interact, engage, comment, hit that bell. The bell's going to notify you every time I post a video. We'll go to our sponsor, we come back, we're going to be discussing retaliation. I wanted to attend a university that had an intelligence program. I wanted to look at problems different. I wanted to increase my critical thinking abilities. AMU offered those avenues to expand. Obtaining your degree as an adult, you're actually paying yourself and investing in yourself. You can't put a dollar on it, it's priceless. It's something that can never be taken away from you. American Military University. Learn from the leader. All right, guys, thank you for listening to our sponsor. You know, I saw a great video the other day, a lot of good information about retaliation. This officer was mad at an inmate <clears throat> and wind up putting bleach in the inmate's food, which in turn is gonna be a criminal act and the person will be charged. Obviously, they're gonna lose their job. And it got me thinking. We are in a profession where we have to take a lot. I mean, the stuff that's thrown our way that we cannot take personal. You know, that's part of the game that inmates play. Now, I'm doing a, a PowerPoint or a course right now on inmate manipulation. And it came up again. The fact that they play these games to get us to react. You have to realize something. We have to hold ourselves at a higher level, which is very difficult. It's another perspective of our job that's very hard to do that not everybody can do. And once you expose your buttons, once you show where you're vulnerable, they're going to push those buttons. That's what they do. Manipulative inmates are going to push those buttons to get some type of reaction from you. And that reaction is key to whatever it is that they're trying to employ. So we have to be aware of ourselves. We have to be aware of how we handle situations. And we have to allow ourselves to breathe. And if you're a supervisor, and there happens to be this negative interaction with this officer and this inmate, allow that officer a chance to breathe. Allow that officer a chance to compose themselves so they can come back with a better mindset. Because the key is, is now we're going on emotion, which is going to be impulsive. And ultimately, in the long run, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good for the inmate, but it's not going to be good for the employee either, for the staff member. You know, there are a lot of things that we could do as management to protect our employees from those moments where they feel they have to retaliate. You know, imagine if you're a staff member and you get assaulted and or you got liquid thrown at you piss shit whatever it is and you finally get your hands on that inmate to secure him it takes a lot to be professional and to do what's only needed to get the job done that takes a lot and recently I saw a video where the officer got punched in the face but he kept his control and once he was able to defend himself and he took control, he handled it with that control. And that's a gift. 
That's a gift that I think most people on the outside just don't know. That's a gift that only so many of us have to maintain that control when everything else in you is frustrated and, and angry. Us as management, again, what we tend to do is we know for a fact, let's just say an officer gets assaulted by an inmate. We know for a fact that there's going to be a lot of lawyers at that point that's going to want to stand by the side of that inmate. The reason why is not so much to justify the assault, but they're hoping we slip up afterwards. They're hoping that either during the escort or whatever it is, or the rest of the time that inmates within our custody, that we're going to let the emotions get the best of us and we're just going to assault that inmate. But we're better than that. And I love frustrating lawyers where they have nothing to go on. So now when you defend this inmate, you're defending solely from the perspective that they did something wrong and everything else we did was fine. We took control. We kept cameras on that inmate. We switched teams. So the team that was originally, originally involved in the code, they got took a time to breathe. We had a fresh team come in and escort him from A to B. And sometimes that camera works great, obviously, for us because we're not doing anything wrong. We're doing a simple escort. So let the inmates say whatever they want. That's fine. We'll go to court and we'll let the camera speak. But if we didn't have all that, because that, that is a level of management. Yes, it's, it's a liability perspective. We understand that from a higher level, we don't want to get sued. But believe it or not, guys, that's also a protection for staff. Because the, pres the presence of the cameras, the separate escort it helps us remember what we need to do and how we need to hold ourselves to higher standards as hard as that can be but again that's why this job isn't for everyone it's not for only those that can maintain that level of control even in the chaos of what this job can bring so bravo for people who can do that bravo to that officer from Florida that I mentioned he's in my last video or last couple of videos so with that said, guys, when you're going through that moment with that inmate, again, we're not talking about physical, we're just talking about that verbal, or, you know, if they throw something to, from, to you from a secured area, that's another concern. And this is going to be hard, but just take my advice on this. They want you to get upset. They want you to react. They want you to lose everything that you have earned up to that point. So it's good for you to get that second to breathe and don't give them that. When that lawyer goes to represent them, sorry man, we did what we had to do. So now you're representing him to just defend him, not turn it around on us. Because those lawyers, that's what they want to do. They don't care how they treated us. They don't care what instigated the situation. All they care about is once we had that inmate secured, what did we do with that inmate? And again, that's the hard part of this job and bravo for those who do it. But I wanted to get that out there because that is a level of manipulation. They can push your buttons, they will. And you have everything to lose. And they have everything to gain. So it's like pick and choose your battles. Give yourself a chance to compose yourself with a fresh mind, if given that chance. Obviously, there'll be times where you're going to have to defend yourself when it's all out. There's no rules. You do what you can to defend yourself. But once the situation's in control, breathe. Don't risk it all because you're pissed. Because then they win. And now we lost a good officer. And now we all suffer. So... I felt like giving that. Hopefully, it's good advice. Love your thoughts on that. But it's a hard job. It's holding us to that higher level. And we're all capable of doing that. All right, guys. As always, the show is here. If you haven't, please subscribe, interact, engage, comment, hit that bell. The bell's going to notify you every time I post a video. Stay safe. Whoa.